This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at EZ isomerism. The EZ notation is used when there are up to four different substituents bonded to the two carbon atoms of the carbon to carbon double bond. The molecule on the left has two different substituents bonded to each carbon of the carbon to carbon double bond. Because both substituents are on the same side of the carbon to carbon double bond, we name this cis butuene. If we look at the molecule on the right, we can see that there are four different substituents bonded to the carbon atoms of the carbon to carbon double bond. Now it becomes more difficult to use the cis trans notation. So instead, we'll use the EZ notation to name the two isomers. So EZ isomerism is based on the Kahn Ingold prelog rules of priority, which assign priority to each atom or group of atoms around the carbon to carbon double bond. Priority is assigned based on the atomic number of the atoms bonded to the carbon atoms of the double bond. The higher the atomic number, the higher the priority. So the carbon atom on the left is bonded to a hydrogen atom and a bromine atom. The atomic number of hydrogen is 1 and the atomic number of bromine is 35. Therefore, bromine is assigned the highest priority on the left carbon atom. On the right carbon atom, we have a CH3 group and a C2H5 group. Because this carbon atom is bonded to two other carbon atoms, we need to look at the next atom in the chain. So in the CH3 group, the next atom would be a hydrogen, which has an atomic number of 1. In the C2H5 group, the next atom is a carbon atom, which has an atomic number of 6. Therefore, we assign the highest priority to the C2H5 group. So on the left carbon atom, we assigned bromine as the highest priority as it has the highest atomic number. On the right carbon atom, we assigned the C2H5 group as the highest priority as it is the longest hydrocarbon chain. Next we look at how to distinguish between the E and Z isomers. So if the highest priority groups are on the same side of the carbon to carbon double bond, it is the Z isomer. So here we have the molecule that we looked at in the previous slide. Both the highest priority groups, that's the bromine atom and the C2H5 group, are on the same side of the carbon to carbon double bond. Therefore, it is the Z isomer. So the full name of this molecule is Z1-bromo-2-methylbutuanine. If the highest priority groups are on opposite sides of the carbon to carbon double bond, it is the E isomer. So in this molecule, we can see that the bromine atom and the C2H5 group are on the opposite sides of the carbon to carbon double bond. Therefore, it is the E isomer. So the full name of this molecule is E1-bromo-2-methylbutuanine. Next, we look at two more examples. So here we have two isomers, which we will classify as the E isomer and the Z isomer. The isomer on the left has the bromine atom and the iodine atom, which have the highest priority due to their higher atomic numbers on the same side of the carbon to carbon double bond. The isomer on the right has the bromine atom and the iodine atom on opposite sides of the carbon to carbon double bond. So on the left we have Z1-bromo-1-chloro-2-iodo-1-propene. And on the right we have E1-bromo-1-chloro-2-iodo-1-propene. And here we have our final example. In the isomer on the left, iodine has the highest priority on the left carbon atom of the double bond. On the right carbon atom, chlorine has the highest atomic number, therefore the highest priority. In the isomer on the right, both iodine and chlorine are on the same side of the carbon to carbon double bond. So the left isomer is E1-bromo-2-chloro-1-iodoethene. And the isomer on the right is Z1-bromo-2-chloro-1-iodoethene. So let's end with a summary. The first step to determine if the isomer is E or Z is to assign priority to the atoms or groups of atoms on each carbon atom of the carbon to carbon double bond. So the order of priority for the halogens is iodine with the highest atomic number and fluorine with the lowest atomic number. In terms of a hydrocarbon chain, we have C3H7 with highest priority and CH3 with lowest priority. If the highest priority groups are on the same side of the carbon to carbon double bond, it is the Z isomer. 
and if the highest priority groups are on the opposite sides of the carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bond, it is the E isomer.